What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we're going to be picking up with the festival playlist for the week for summer season. And we're going to attempt to do the trial, which is get hyper because we get the Lamborghini Veneno. If we get that completed, so let's go ahead and jump into that and start searching for a lobby. If you don't know what the trial is, you basically do a championship against um, unbeatable Dravatars and you get a team of, you get match made with a team of random people or you can do it with a team of, um, you know, friends and stuff too. So definitely helps if you have friends that can do it. But we'll go ahead and wait for this to start up and we'll jump into it. Alright, so we found a lobby. We're going to use our Lamborghini Centenario. Just because I have a downloaded tune on it that was designated for the trial. So definitely if you're trying any of these seasonal things, most, of, most people will have, or most cars, will have a tune in the featured page or whatever you want to call that, the first page of tunes that you look at that has a description or a title of um, whatever the event is that requires that car, so. Just threw the first one on there. Looks like we've got three Senna's, a Koenigsegg, and I didn't see, I don't know what kind of Koenigsegg it was though, but should be fun. Hopefully we got a decent enough team. Okay, so an Agera. Alright, let's hope that we can do something here. Alright, let's get out of cockpit view there. So we are the blue team, so... I'm gonna be wary. There's collision on. Okay, these AIs are acting crazy. We just wanna make sure that we don't run into our blue team teammates and push them out of the way and such. So. I'm in first. I think we have the faster car. They're probably gonna be faster going around turns. We've definitely got the faster straight line speed wise right now our team is not winning which is not great so you can see the points in the top right for every racer that you're ahead of you get 100 points for your team and then you get 50 points for being in first place as well so whoever's in first place has an additional 50 so as you can see I have 650 so I've got the most possible points that I can have. I just gotta hope that our teammates down in last place at least. I think it's he's the only one that needs to do a little better. Or I guess the ones in eighth and ninth have to do better too. So another issue with the like the uh, trial races is I mean you can have teammates that hold you down like that. It's just what it is. Oh, we lost our wing. I forgot that the damage is actually... It's not cosmetic on here. I don't know if it's actually, uh... Um... Like, simulation or not, but... Doesn't matter too much. We've got 10% left, but... Uh, yeah. Team is not doing good at all. There you So, you just gotta hope that you get good teammates. Um, there's three races. You have to win two of them, point-wise. So, we'll see if we can win the next two. Sometimes your your teammates leave too, and you just can't. I mean, that kind of helps you out if you're doing good and your teammates leave. So, we'll see if they stay around. Alright, yeah. They're all here, so. Let's hope they can do better in a circuit. He didn't pick a very good car. The kind of egg is not tuned at all. So, if you're going to do the trial, make sure that you have a cart that is tuned and don't just borrow one or use a stock one because you won't be able to do too too much and you won't help out your team so I 
And I just got booted, I'm assuming, by my teammate. First, we're doing better this race so far. I say that, and we lose points. So, God, my car is just so much faster than any of theirs. The Senna is good for cornering, but if you can get something fast and that can corner decently well and you can handle it you're better off there like the Centenario is probably the best best option right now for this race in my opinion at least especially the tune that I have thrown on it I'll share it after we get done with the set just so you can see the share code if you want to use it Make it a little easier on you. Well, after we get done with this set of races, not this race specifically, so. Go ahead. Let's see. We're still ahead. We're doing good. Hopefully, we can maintain that. team is battling for the win right now. Hopefully they can pull it out. I'm coming up on the last turn and it'll just be up to them to see if they can pull out the win or not. So it's gonna be close. Whew. Let's see. Right now we're ahead by 50 points. Now we're ahead by 150. Man, they're just battling back and forth. Now we're losing. Alright, so, dude in the Agera left. But we did win. So we won that one. Okay, and the guy in the Agera left. So, I think we'll get more points. Maybe not. I don't remember how that works out. So, one to one. Now we just have to win the last one. And the trial will be complete. So let's go ahead and jump into that race. All right, jumping into the Holly Rood Park circuit. So this is a fast circuit, so it's a long circuit. Doesn't look like it would be, but it is longer. But hopefully our team can, uh, well, a win, and we don't have to redo the trial, right? Scenario here. Okay, he's battling. He's keeping up pace here. The team's doing good so far. See, we don't actually have to win the race. Um, we just need to win as far as getting more points than the other team. So you could come. Like, second, third, fourth, fifth, or whatever. I mean, I guess that first race was a good example of that. I came in first, and the team just... The rest of my team did not do anything, really. And we lost, because they were in... Or so far back in the pack, but... We are zooming through right here. So this is what I mean. It's a fast circuit. It's got plenty of places for you to go fast. A lot of fast turns. Corners is what I should call them, not turns. 
And Centenario is keeping up with us this time, though. I wonder why it wasn't keeping up with us last time. Or any of the other races, really. A little bumpy there. So you can kind of catch us up during the turns. Oh, we barely made that checkpoint. Need to chill out a little bit. Alright, our team is slowly losing its grip on the lead. We were doing much better a couple minutes ago. Alright, on the last lap though. Make sure we don't do anything to mess it up here. Alright, our team is really struggling now. We may have to do all of this again. Not a big deal. Definitely a lot faster than the last trial last season was the uh, off-roading one. I'm not a big fan of that. It took so much time and it, that one was like legitimately difficult. This one is like really nothing. And I'd much rather, much, much rather be racing on the road than doing cross-country trials. So we are coming up on the finish line. Our team is now losing. Oh my gosh, I almost lost control there. Looking at the leaderboard, so let's hope that our team can pull it back. I don't think they will be able to. We've got two people that have zero points. Alright, so that's that. We will have to do it again. So this is kind of where it's nice to have um, teammates that you know who can race. And you don't have to depend on you know, the driving skill of randoms. So we'll go ahead and jump it into it and start it over again. I don't know if I'm going to... Well, it says it was complete. So I don't know if we still actually got it. I don't think so, because I want the car, and I think you have to win to get the car, but we'll go ahead and jump into it again. All right, here we go. Round two, we've got two Senna's, a Pagani, and a Gera, it looked like, and I didn't see what the other one was. A Ferrari F12. Cool. Hopefully, we do better here. I don't know if we will or not, because it doesn't seem like... Uh, we'll see. <sighs> Alright, let's jump into the race. Seems like that Senna is at least fast. At least the driver is good enough to have it. It would make it look like it's fast. So hopefully we do better. We're doing great so far. I mean, we've got one, two, and five. Kinda just wanna get past this guy. I don't want to bump them though. I'm trying to drive a little carefuler. A little more careful. Just so that I don't accidentally run into him. Because he can stop a lot faster than me. Oh my gosh, a drive guitar just absolutely skyrocketed up to us. Daggum, I don't know where that drive guitar came from. Like, literally, he zoomed up next to us. I don't know if that was rubber banding or what.
still in the lead though. Looks like we're gonna bring home at least one and two. Hopefully we'll bring home the race. Whew. This looks like we had one of our, our guys quit already. He was in a Regera, not in a Gera, so no big deal. Yeah, we won the race. Good deal. So let's move on to the second one. Unfortunately, if you win two of the races, you still have to race the third one for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and jump into the next one. All right, here we go. Race number two. Let's hope that we have the same kind of outcome. Instead of whatever that just was, we just got absolutely demolished by one of our teammates. Oh my goodness. This is why it's nicer to be out in front. Because you don't have to deal with as many people like this. That guy's like ghosting around. Why are you bumping me? Like, literally, he just sent me into the wall. And he just tried to. Nonetheless, we still have the lead. Thanks to our McLaren driver, our center Cinna driver up in first. Thank goodness for him. I just can't get a groove now in this race. I think I can at least cross me so slidey too. It definitely didn't seem like that last time we did this race. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there is actual like simulation damage or what. Alright. We're in third. Let's see if we can catch a second. Got one more lap. I'm trying to be a little better about throttle control. And breaking a little easier. Just gonna leave. That's all that matters. I don't think I'm gonna catch a second, but. As long as our team finishes out the way they are, we should be a okay. Again, that's why it's important to pick the correct bar and the correct tune, rather. I guess it's more important because you could use probably any of these cars. Obviously, the Cinnas that we were racing with last time were awful, and this guy's actually pretty decent in it. So, all the matters on the tune. But we won that one, so let's go ahead and jump into our next race. And hopefully the final race. Or it should be the final race. It is the final race. Here we go for race number three. I don't think we need to win this since we've won the two other races already. So it's just, oh my gosh, I'm getting so bumped. My goodness. So, I should go so slidey again. I don't know why. 
It's all tore up though. And then there's a ring. Some fighting first. Gotta drive a tower right behind us. Let's take his wing off too, why don't we? Even out the odds a little bit, right? Alright, moving up to first. Right now our team has the lead. I can see that changing very quickly though. Got the Pagani fighting back. It's keeping up, that's for sure. You gotta be good through these turns here. Great turn. There we go. Bounce off that wall a little bit. Hit the brakes. Cut off the gas. That wasn't ideal, but we're still in front. So overcook it. Looking good. Our team's still in first. Just cook it back down the uh Back stretch here. Slow down into these turns. Up the gas. There we go. On the brakes. Over the driving line. We're looking good. Team is still in first by a good margin, so we should be fine. I keep bouncing off that wall. There we go. <laughs> Just damage up our Centenario a little bit more. Alright, here we go. Final little stretch of this turn. There we go. And let's get on the gas. And now we just gun it all the way to the finish line. Alright, there we go. First place again. Not too bad. We should be fine again as long as nothing messes or no one messes up terribly. Got a 250 point spread right now, or lead. There we go. So we won that. Nice. We won all three events too, which is just, I guess, an added bonus. I don't know if it gets us more credits or what. Blue team wins. Damn. Alright, get hyper complete. And it should tell us that we have unlocked the Veneno. There we go. Very cool. Probably won't ever drive it. We might eventually, I don't know. It'll probably just be for something random that calls for a hypercar, so. Alright, not too bad. Hey Brandon. You've just earned your gold wristband. This puts you among the best of the best, the biggest names at the festival, the legends of Horizon. So please try not to lose it. Alright, so we just got four thousand dollars on a wheel spin and we got our gold wristband. I don't feel like I should have gotten it there. I feel like it should have given it to me at like 150, but it gave it to me at 158, which is weird. It's just a weird rank or 159. I don't remember which I am, but either way, 158. That just seems like a really weird um, level to get your gold wristband. So, hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. We'll find one of the other events to do. We unlocked the Porsche, so that's fun. We got 50% done, so we'll get the Porsche 356 RSR. That's a pretty neat little car. So that put us right at 50, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is we've actually got two barn find rumors on our map. So we're actually going to go find those two, and then we will end the episode out there. 
So let's go ahead and jump over there and I will see you in a second. All right, here we go. Pulled up to one of the areas, barn find areas, and we are in our Toyota Hilux. So, let's see if we can find this barn. Well, we won't waste too much time. Can't find it pretty quick. Then we'll just jump into drone mode and see if we can spot it from there. I don't think it's going to be in the quarry. So, I want to check the woods around it first. This Hilux is really cool. I would love to have one of these. Obviously, there's a tune on this one. I just threw a random tune on just to get it to the top of A class. Just so that it had a little more uh, oomph, if you will. This way, then. I don't think we passed it. Seems like there's somebody else up here looking for it, too. Potentially looking for it, at least. Follow this little trail. See if it leads anywhere. Maybe not. Oh, there's a bonus board. Take that. Get some ruins over there. I think it's down that way. I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and jump into drone mode. See if we can find it real quick. We'll probably just look right past it at some point. Alright, jump into drone mode. Speed up the process a little bit. Since where we were. Aha, uh -huh. we found it. I think we drove literally right by it. I think we would have drove, drove up over there a little bit, so. Alright, let's jump back into our car, our truck, our vehicle, whatever you want to call it. And go see what's in this one. I'm hoping, I'm looking for the Lotus um, car, but I've yet to find the barn find that has it in it. So maybe this will be it. Did we get there first? Oh, thank you, thank you. On my way. Looks like it is. Good deal. Oh man! Yep. I had a Lotus Lease on GT1. When I was a kid. So that's one I've Still been looking it. for. It's apparently a really competitive Lotus race Lotus car. GT1. So. Let's get it out of here. Very good. So we got that one. Let's go ahead and jump in to the other one, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, 
We're at the other barn find room or location, and we've jumped into our Mercedes X Class. Unlocked this in the backstage pass just because I thought it was really cool. Um, it's actually pretty decent of a truck, too. I have a, just a random tune on it. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be, so let's go ahead and see if we can find. I think I just saw it through the trees, actually. If that's it, that's got to be the easiest ever. All right, cool deal. Well, that was a Mercedes Benz X Class, so. Let's see what this one is. A Jaguar E Type. Why would anyone leave this beautiful? This is a very long car. Come on, let's take her back. All right, there you go. So that's the two barn finds that we had. I don't know if that's all of the barn finds on this section of the map. Um, I think there's still barn finds, like spots in my uh, garage or whatever. But I think that was. I think those are the only ones that are actually on this map. But we'll see. Eventually, we'll go over to um, the Lego. Adventure, I don't remember what they call it. Um, what was it called? Well, we've got Fortune Island and Lego Speed Champion. Lego Valley is what they call it, so eventually we'll jump over there. I don't remember if there were barn finds in those DLCs or not, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for Forza or for future Forza Horizon 4 content. And we will see you in the next video.